Ikwerimadu has just been jailed for nine years and eight months. He, of course, had two co-defendants. There were three, but we know that Sonia Ikwerimadu was found not guilty in March. Uh, but his wife, Beatrice, today has been sentenced to four years and six months in prison while Obina or better described as the middleman has received a 10 year prison term now as to be expected the entire uh, uh, court um, gallery was full uh, we had media from across the spectrum in fact something that was only introduced into the british court this year um, was the fact that the, the judge's ruling was filmed live on a very popular uh, channel here, Sky News. Uh, so the entirety of this country have been following um, this case. Of course, we know from following this case extensively in the past few days, Laddie, where we have had um, a significant number of letters of clemency. Uh, this was um, spoken of by the defense lawyer. And in fact, uh, the judge did actually say one of the reasons why um, he reduced the sentence for the senator was because of those letters. He received 51 in total, including from the former uh, president, Olusegun um, Obasanjo, describing Ikwerimadu as a good man, a decent man, um, a lawyer of significance, somebody who spent a long time at the top of politics. He's fall from grace, couldn't be um, any more glaring or any more significant. And he said he took that into consideration um, and reduced his sentence. But he said, um, and disagreeing with what the statements were from the defence team, uh, that he knew all along what he was doing. Um, considering he was so intelligent, was so fundamental to the birthing of democracy in Nigeria, and in fact, ECOWAS, and he himself, he said, was part of uh, drafting the piece of legislature which actually made this human trafficking illegal in Nigeria. Um, so he said he knew what he was doing, he was culpable, and he had no option but to give him uh, this nine years and eight months sentence. And now, as has been described, and as we know, this is not a normal case. In fact, this is a landmark trial in the UK. Nobody in this country has ever been uh, charged and prosecuted and convicted of Section 2 of the Modern Slavery Act of 2015. And that the intent, and let's talk about the intent, the intent was, of course, to save the life of their daughter, Sonia. Sonia, of course, was in court today. I uh, sat beside her during the proceedings. I saw her and spoke to her briefly after the ruling and um, she was absolutely devastated in fact both the prosecution lawyer casey hugh davis as well as the judge did say everybody not just parents but everybody following the case do have some sympathy for her and in fact the defense lawyer laddie did ask the the court to perhaps suspend the sentence of her mother beatrice because of course this costs, in terms of her kidney dialysis, a significant amount of money. And with both parents uh, being in jail, how would they be able to afford it? Um, the the defence lawyer for Beatrice Aquaramadu pleaded for a suspended sentence. That obviously hasn't happened. She's been sentenced to four years and six months in prison. I'm sure we've got our producers going now through the time they've spent in custody because, of course, they've spent a significant amount of time in custody. This is going to be taken into account. So of the four years and six months, for example, that Beatrice got, and because of the laws in this country, um, she will uh, spend half of that sentence in prison and the rest on license where you're tagged and you have a curfew and of course taking into account the 100 or so days that they've been um, in court. I've got to tell you it was very dramatic, very uh, tense at times. Um, Laddie, as you know, Channel's television in London has been covering the entirety of the case, um, including when it first came into the public domain in the summer of last year. I've got to tell you, looking at the senator today, he did look like a broken man. He's clearly lost a significant amount of weight. He is not sleeping. Um, there was a large cohort on the 
delegation of senators and House of Representatives that have flown in. I did speak to a few of them on record, and I can tell you for a fact that the senator is suffering uh, from significant mental health issues. Um, I won't go into the details of it, uh, but they are very afraid of him trying to take his own life. That is how serious this is. I did speak to the Sunrise team this morning. I was asked whether or not the letters and the pleading of clemency would be taken into account. I wasn't sure of that, but it did make a difference. The judge said in his summary um, that he read each and every individual of those 51 letters. And he did say about all three of the defendants that they were of good character and that this is an isolated case and it is landmark um, in um, its fruition. So yes, just to, just to re-emphasize the breaking news that's just happened just less than uh, 30 minutes ago, the former Deputy Senate President, uh, just a couple of years ago, one of the most powerful men, not, not just in Nigeria, but across Africa, Ike Ikwaramadu, has been jailed today at the Old Bailey uh, for nine years and eight months. His wife, Beatrice, has been sentenced to four years and six months in prison, while Dr. Obina Obeta, the middleman in this case, has been sentenced to 10 years. Uh, Juliana, thank you very much for your reporting and for your continuous coverage of this story. It's breaking news out of uh, London, and we'll keep tabs on it. Uh, but before you go, perhaps I can just ask you about, are there any options of appeal available to the senator and his wife? I absolutely uh, believe so, Laddie. And I think just for the fact that this is a landmark case in the United Kingdom, I think anybody that's been following news about the issues the Home Secretary and the Prime Minister have been having about um, cross-channel trafficking and the issue that they have of human traffickers getting people into this uh, country, that's, that's a huge issue. In fact, if we go and uh, listen, or if I reflect back to some of the um, details that the uh, defense lawyer of Beatrice was saying, he was using cases as examples of individuals, human traffickers, who fall under the Modern Slavery Act of raping women, bringing women into uh, this country where they are subject uh, to horrendous conditions, years of solitude, um, financial a deprivation. This is not the case in this uh, a, a trial. This is a case of a victim of circumstance. Certainly a crime has been committed here, but does the senator and does this conspiracy warrant over 10 years in prison or up to 10 years in prison? Another significant factor, um, which I, I should mention, is the victim who, uh, just to be clear and just to make it clear, uh, for our channel still cannot be named for legal reasons. There is a reporting restriction on this individual's uh, name. He was, he was uh, shown to be a liar. He lied on several occasions. Uh, we were shown uh, two pieces of crucial evidence where he handed himself into police on the 5th of May. So in fact, as, uh, as time would have it, Exactly a year ago today, this victim handed himself into police. He lied to police saying that he was 15 years old, that he had no family, um, that his parents died when he was very young. We know that's not the case anymore. He also lied on a second occasion uh, to police. We saw that video evidence. Is this individual somebody of good character? Well, that's, to, that's something uh, for the... Um, uh, defence lawyers to try and appeal in court. Certainly, uh, there will be a, a, an appeal. There is uh, outrage, uh, not just uh, from the delegation that flew in, uh, but from those who believe that the intent was never evil and the fact that the act wasn't taken out. Um, so, yes, this is um, it's it's a case that has stirred plenty of emotion, not least from those in the public gallery, but also the defence lawyers and including the judge, who, like I said in his ruling, did say that the senator 
is a man of good character. Just very briefly as well, lad.